Do you have a second pain that could mean cancer? How are you? Hi, Dr. Ross. How are you? Good. So we're going to hear from a cancer survivor. There have been 75,000 cases of the kind we're talking about. New, new cases every single year. This is one of the deadliest cancers of young women. Okay, let's hear her story. I had sharp shooting chest pains, flu-like symptoms, and I was exhausted all the time. So that young woman is in her late 20s. Wow. So what cancer do you think those symptoms might be cluing her into? Just painfully. Stomach cancer, maybe? Well, let's find out. Let's okay, find out. okay. I had lymphoma. Lymphoma. You've heard of lymphoma, right? Yes, sure. So lymphoma is a, is a cancer of the lymph nodes of the body. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, you will usually get swollen lymph nodes classically in the place you might get swollen nodes if you have a cold. Right. So it's under your throat here. And by the way, everyone should do this right now. Just put your hands up like this. And, and you know, if you were looking at somebody else, you put them on them. But let's just do it on ourselves since we're in the studio. But as a physician, I put my hands on you. I first feel under your, your, your throat. That's where you get a sore throat mm -hmm. lymph node there. That little nodule there is a lymph node. Mm -hmm. Along the muscles going down to your, your chest. And then right above the, the, the clavicle bone. Right above the, the bone, you'll often feel small little nodes. The other place people don't look for, but they need to look for them, is under their arm. So you all take your left arm. Your left hand, rather, put it under your right armpit, and if you relax your hand down, and then feel up high in there, if you feel little nubbins, little nodules, and don't press too hard, don't want to hurt yourself, but you can feel the ribs in there, those are classically where axillary lymph nodes are, the lymph nodes that we also associate with lymphoma. You also can find them in the groin area. So those are the big places that we have lymph nodes, and that's how you can diagnose lymphoma early on. So Dr. Altroy, how do you differentiate whether you've got lymph nodes in your throat, for example, from having the flu, or if you might have one of the earliest signs of lymphoma? Well, you know, unlike the flu, uh, we can get unexplained weight loss, unexplained night sweats where you're really profusely sweating through your bedclothes onto your, onto your sheets. And, and the duration of those symptoms obviously becomes important as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And th that's why, again, if you can clue into it early on, you can keep track of how long you've had it. How long do you usually wait? before you see a doctor and... You know, if, if I have symptoms of the type that was mentioned with Dr. Axelrod for more than a week, mm -hmm. I'm off to see someone, but for sure, two weeks. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you very Thank you. much. Yeah.